वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ गीता कदम एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द सेकेंड चैप्टर इन आवर ई वी एस टू सब्जेक्ट मीन्स आवर हिस्ट्री सब्जेक्ट एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज चैप्टर नंबर टू हिस्ट्री एंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ टाइम इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स फर्स्ट पॉइंट division of time and the timeline second point measurement of time and the methods of measuring time third point historical periods and fourth point scientific methods of measuring time and establishing age so let us start with the chapter first point is division of time and the timeline see students there are different methods of reckoning the time reckoning means calculating the time and time is continuous but for our convenience we divide the time into the periods the method that we use the reckoning time depend on our purpose for dividing it and the manner in which we do it for example at sunrise we says it is morning now the day has begun at the sunset we says it is evening now soon it will be night at the end of the day it becomes dark and it is night this means that we divide the day into two parts we divide the day into two part one is day and the second one is night our earth rotates around it axis at a certain speed axis means around itself means our earth rotates around itself at a certain speed similarly it also revolves around the sun means our earth rotate around itself and simultaneously earth also revolves around the sun sun has its own light and when the earth to revolve around the sun that time we receive the light from the sun however we see the light only in the day time nights are dark how does this happen let us see see students as the earth rotates around it axis means around itself that part of its surface which turns toward the sun becomes bright means when earth rotates that time which part is in front of the sun getting sun's light so it having a day time and the part that moves away from the sun moves into darkness means the part which is opposite to the sun where not getting the sunlight is having a darkness so we says that it is a night the earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation around its own axis means around itself so these 24 hours are approximately divided into 12 hours of day time and 12 hours of night so a period of day time and the following night together make one day and one day having 24 hours students time is continuous that's why we are dividing the time in different divisions start from day 24 hours make a day like that 
when seven days monday to sunday make one week and two weeks make a fortnight four weeks make a month 12 months make a year in this manner we reckoning the time in bigger and bigger units means it should be extended one year is followed by another and when 100 years go by a century is completed century means 100 years when 10 centuries that is 1000 years are gone a millennium is completed millennium means thousands of years so such a method of dividing a time is known as unilinear division of time unilinear division of time means 7 days make a week Two weeks make a fortnight, and four weeks make a month. Twelve months make a year. Hundred years make a century, and ten centuries make a millennium. So this method of dividing a time is known as unilinear division of time. the next point is common era or christian era as we saw the unilinear division of time in unilinear division of time years that follow one after the other are arranged in serial order we need to know as to when exactly the different events in the past took place in history also a chain of events that follow one after the other is presented in a linear and serial manner for example the invention of fire then the invention of will then the invention of telescope like this a particular method is used to refer to time while arranging the events in chronological order means proper order and for this usually we refer to the common era or christian era common era called christian era and we return the christian era or common era in short as ce ce means common era or christian era and common era we also called anno domini which means in the year of our lord anno domini return in short as ad see students the calendar we use today is based on the christian era but now we call the common era this era began from the year when jesus christ was born means this era began in the memory of jesus christ the first year of this era is the year when it began it is shown with the number 1 the years after that are indicated by the next numbers in serial order see the first 100 years that is the first century of this era which return as 1200 ce or 1200 ad the period of the first millennium of this era is return as 1000 ce or 1000 ad let's see the example see students during the indian freedom struggle 
the quit india movement was launched in 1942 we say that it was launched in 1942 ad or we got the independence in 1947 ad here we used ad because these events took place after the birth of christ means all the events taking place after the birth of jesus christ are referred to in this way only so this method of referring to the time is now used in all parts of the world for the convenience of international transaction see students we saw the common era means christian era and the common era which we refer with ce or ad term after the birth of jesus we started to using calendar means many events after the birth of jesus we mention in proper sequence with the word ad but do you know many important events have taken place before the birth of jesus so how do we refer to them let us see the next point is the time before the common or the christian era students the period before the common era is known as the time before common era or before christ see the period before the common era means the events which happened before the birth of jesus which mentioned with b c or b c e before common era in short we are referring b c e and before christ in short we are referring b c means the events have taken place before the birth of jesus we are mentioned with b c e or b c the years of this period are counted and written in reverse order reverse order means last to first for example the first century before the common era began at the year 100 bce and ended with 1 bce see the first century before the common era we are writing with 100 bce to 1 bce similarly the first millennium before the common era began at the year 1000 bce and ended with the 1 bce so the first century before the common era is indicated as 100 to 1 bce and the first millennium before the common era is indicated as 1000 to 1 bce let us look at some examples of this method of indicating time before the common or the christian era first example is vardhaman mahavir students vardhaman mahavir was born in 599 bc so the lifetime of vardhaman mahavir is written as 599 bc to 527 bc similar like that gautam buddha 
He was born in 563 BC. So, the lifetime of Gautam Buddha is written as 563 BC to 483 BC. So, like the reverse order, we are, we are mentioning the events which happened before the Christ. Students, when we refer to historic periods, we often mention the centuries. Like Shivaji Maharaj belongs to 17th century. India got independence in 20th century. Like that. Centuries are important in history. The period from AD 1 to AD 100 is called the first century. The period of 100 years from 1901 to 2000 it's called the 20th century. Like that 2001 to 2100 it's called the 21st century. Means today we are living 21st century. When we say that Buddhism was founded in the 6th century BC, we means that it was founded sometime between 600 BC to 501 BC. Students, till now we saw the points before common era and common era. Now let us do the activity on it. First question, fill in the blanks. First fill up, the calendar that we use today is based on the dash. The answer is yes, common era or Christian era. Second fill up, the common era began in the memory of Dash. Yes, the answer is Jesus Christ. Now, second question, write full form. First is, write a full form of CE. The answer is, Yes, Christian era or common era. Second one is, write a full form of AD. Yes, AD means Anno Domini. Now the third one is, write a full form of BCE. Yes, the answer is, before common era or we can also say that before Christian era. Now, third question that is activity which you have to do in your notebook. Question number three, draw a timeline in your notebook and show the following events on it. First is, Quit India Movement in 1942 AD. Second one is India become independent in 1947 AD. And the third one is birth of Vardhaman Mahavir in 599 BC. So that you have to do in your notebook. Students, we saw the method of unilinear division of time and the Christian era began in the memory of Jesus. The events that took place before the birth of Jesus are denoted by before Christ means BC and the events which happened after the birth of Jesus are denoted as 
and a domini means ad so rest of the lesson we will see in our next video thank you